there's no excuse to be that far behind. That point in the run, like, come on. Hey, good to go, it's just a miracle. Yay, fun. Do I have nine? Nice. Nice indeed. God, I actually got the box jump, now box jump, or whatever, whatever the hell you want to call it. Whether or not it will be is another thing entirely. I could easily mess up the text in the menuing or whatever, but this is like a really good time. Like 
a really, really good time. Nice. 508. That's like really a best for me. Like that's a best by several seconds over my any percent best. Yay. Fun. Sub six sword. I think it is. Oh my god. Sub six wooden sword. I've done it. It's a thing. Yeesh. Didn't even think it was possible. Exactly what I wanted to do. This segment is bad.
good. I still save time, so there's that. Cool. It's a pretty good cage break time. These ghosts that are literally like just not moving at all. Okay. Do you go over to where the other one is? Not quite. And that wasn't a very good angle. So I got a terrible time. Okay. I don't want to save. Yeesh. Making all the mistakes. Fun. Can I jump, please? The wall is keeping me from jumping. Amazing.
amazing. Exactly what I wanted to do, you know? There we go. This time is meh. I'm too close. Yep. Really? It just happens sometimes. I don't understand why. a couple seconds here.
just weird, but okay, sure. If I just... Yep. There's like a certain way where if he goes a certain direction that, that bug, then I know that I'll be able to hit him. Like if he just goes into the corner, I know I can just run forward and hit him. Otherwise, I'd probably have to mid a charge. I don't think I'll best, but this was this was a good split, so yay. Yay. Though I could technically best by like a second maybe. Okay, this is a good start. Yay. Hey Spino, I've been trying to get runs going all day, and all of them end up choking somewhere during the run, so I just keep re restarting. This run is pretty okay though, so far. I say okay, it's like 26 seconds behind best, but eh. And my bests aren't really that amazing either. I think I am getting a little bit better every time. need more rupees, but 
I should probably grab some just cause. Wow. I don't know how I stopped her from getting scared by that. Crazy. Basically, probably as close as she can get before that Deku Baba would have scared her. Ah, uh, I got bad RNG. Lost a couple seconds. Oh well. Or two best, I mean, but still. I botched early Boomerang in the last run, which sucks because it was a good run otherwise, but... I do like the hidden training music, it's really nice. It's very, very nice. Yeah, I could save a couple seconds here, maybe. Yep. I saved a little bit of time. Yay. See if I can get fast spider. Wow, I actually got fast spider. I could probably roll three times there instead of rolling twice and then walking. I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> 
Come on. Bonk. Bonk. Better. <laughs> I mean, good thing it takes the it takes time for the monkeys to get up here. But that was just weird. not mess up early boomerang please please last second. A little bit sketchy. Okay, I can best here if I get a good fight, because that was a really good segment. That's a good fight. Yay. Okay, I'm going to best here. I don't know how much, by how much, but I'll definitely best, and it's going to be a great time. That's like a 620 flat. Which means I think I'm actually going to get a 37-something boomerang, which is amazing. I think that I will get a 37-something boomerang. I've never actually done that before. I totally will. Look at that. It's gonna be like a 3755, maybe. Yep. Oh my god. Amazing. still have 38 on the file, but whatever. It's 37 in my heart. <laughs> it can still be like 30 seconds better. Maybe a little more. So like a 37-30 boomerang. didn't equip the boomerang. Rip. Okay, well. 
still a pretty good time, even though I forgot to equip Boomerang. I can definitely have a, a mid to uh, low 43 after this split if I get Ooklis right. not hard, I just have been messing it up a lot recently. No, I do not like that angle at all. Pretty good split there. Pretty good split so far. Alright. <laughs> it's Euclid's time. Let me actually get it for once, please. Please. Okay, good. I just need to do the rest of it fine. I messed it up. I didn't get a jump attack somehow. I thought I had it. I was so close. Okay. It's ook time. Uh, so I'm just gonna miss a 43. It's gonna be a low 44, of course. I really need to get Euclid down, because I do not know why I've been missing it recently. I mean, I know why it is, but, like, I shouldn't be missing it, basically, is what I mean. I'm gonna lose, like, five seconds or something. I mean, it's still an okay time, but I really need to figure out this stupid thing out. Hey, Sheriff. Well, this run was really good, and then I messed this up, but, yeah. Eh. Eh. You haven't played this game for almost a year? It's a fun game. I play it a lot, obviously. <laughs> The route has changed a little bit, which is kind of cool. 
Uh, but I'm doing all dungeons right now. So, even though the route has changed, it's not exactly the any percent route. But this next part should be similar. Instead of just going directly to the Elden Vessel, I actually go and do half of the Lanairu Twilight before I get the Elden Vessel. And it's kind of cool. I don't know. Like, there's a certain not-that-hard trick that I have to do, and hopefully I won't mess it up that many times. Alright, I need to get this mailman skip. I gotta figure out where the stupid trigger is. Like, there's a... There's a line, basically, along the wall where the postman will appear and talk to you. I have no idea where exactly it is. Like, I can probably walk forward a little bit, yeah. Ah, I almost skipped him. So close. So close. Whatever. I, I seriously need to practice this and figure out where the heck the trigger is, but... Anyways. All of my runs of this category have missed that, so it's not a problem. I'm not really losing any time, like, in comparison. So this is going to be similar to the normal run, like what I'm about to do, um, but then I'm going to warp to a different location than normal and just go to Lanairu a really weird way. Those shadow beasts were in like kind of weird positions there. Oh well. Alright, Minna, hurry up and shut up. Okay, I'm warping to South Faron instead of North Faron because instead of getting the bridge, I'm just gonna go to Lanayru. Although she's still gonna say, go look for the bridge. I like how Koro is just not scared at all. But there's a random wolf running past him. <laughs> okay, so I'm running over to this gate, and then I'm gonna clip through the gate. But I'm gonna kill the, the goblins in front of it first, just because they're annoying and in the way. seconds extra, but I got it. For some reason, Wolf Link starts running really slowly right here, and then basically you just warp to the bridge cutscene. It's so weird. It's just so strange and bizarre.
Yeah, I lost like 10 seconds to getting a slow clip there. Oh well. This saves about 30 seconds over doing Lineru Twilight like normally, because what we do is we basically go get the Zora's Domain Portal, and then uh, we can just essentially um, warp there from Death Mountain like as soon as we need to finish Lineru Twilight. It's really great. I'm gonna try to get this guy to work for the one cycle here. Okay, I got it. So basically, if you get him to be like really close to the ground whenever you attack the first time, then you can like quick grab him the second time. And it saves time, so. That's a thing that is done. I didn't know about it for a really long time, though. So basically, as soon as I kill the Shadow Beast, um at the top of Zora's Domain, instead of warping to Death Mountain, I just warp to North Far, um, grab the bridge, and then uh, go over to um, Elden again and finish Elden. But this is kind of cool, because the route is a little bit different now. We used to have to do all of Lanairu Twilight at the same time, which was really boring, but now it's a little bit more spread out which is actually extremely nice. It does make Elden a bit long. Okay, I don't want to die here. I almost voided just a second ago. <laughs> By, like, clipping a wing on something. So the last run I did, I had everything going like perfectly up to this point, and then I for some reason decided to jump directly into an icicle, and I fell all the way down. It was this icicle, so I was at the very top too, it was sad. This is like not something that should happen, <laughs> so I lost like 20 plus seconds or something. Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm not saving any time now. I can't believe I did that. Yeesh. That sucked. Okay, well. <clears throat> At least I won't be best, I don't think. But I might save a little bit of time, I don't know. Not exactly sure. Yeah, I'll probably save like 15 seconds, but I'm not gonna pass. So, okay. That is fine.
Anyways, what that does skip is it definitely skips uh, two minutes of running around in the twilight, which I find more boring than minutes of, you know, running around in the overworld. Like, rolling in the overworld is infinitely more entertaining. See, so yeah, like 10 or 15 seconds here. Okay, nice. Nice. Those bugs are kind of annoying. You can lose a lot of time there just because they don't want to cooperate. I could go out through the graveyard, but it's slower, so like, why would I do that? I used to do that, and then somebody told me about warping. Alright, this room has not been kind to me recently. There we go. Finally. There are times where you can get him to still go up to the top, but he'll jump down to the bottom. Like, just because you weren't in the right spot on the ground. So... Try to avoid that, basically. Okay, well, I messed up the dash cancel. Are you serious? Oh, I just lost a couple seconds there. But that's fine. wait to make sure I get that tier because it's pretty easy to accidentally like walk out of this room without grabbing the tier. Like even in HD where the tiers are super nice and go to you pretty fast. Are you serious? Okay, so pretty good segment so far. Yeah, pretty solid. Could have been a little better, but pretty good. 
pretty good. Um, yeah. I should save like 10 seconds ish. Maybe a little less. It depends on how the rest of this goes. doing Dang. I always like just miss the early cycle and have to wait for the wind Look at that. Yay, fun. Alright. <clears throat> um. Oh, yeah. Duh. Okay, so there's this trick that I can do with the Goron up here. I've been getting better at it, but I'm still not the best. It doesn't really matter if I miss it this time, but it kind of matters if I miss it the next time. Because I do it twice. The second time is higher stakes, because it actually matters. Because this time we want to get knocked off anyways. But anyways, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so if I do a, a little spin attack as soon as I land after backflipping, and then just hold up, then I can, like, skip having to get hit by this Goron. It's so weird. You just hold ZL and up, and you walk backwards off the, off the edge. And basically, you can do that the second time to skip having to put the iron boots on and throw the Goron out of the way, which saves time. But if you mess it up, then you can't see where the Goron is, and you're very unlikely to throw him off. If you mess it up here, you just lose a couple seconds. But you have to redo the entire thing if you mess it up uh, when it actually matters. Anyways, it's a pretty cool trick. It's been like pretty consistent. As long as you get the spin attack, it's it's consistent. You just gotta go up around the right spot on the grates and then get the backflip spin attack. You literally just do a circle in the air and press B, and uh, whenever you land, you'll automatically do a spin attack. It's the same way with jump attack quick spins, where you just jump attack, and then do a circle in the air, press B, and when you land, you'll do a spin attack, which is very necessary to do for the, um, the final boss, because three of those, like where you hit the... Um, the jump attack and the quick spin will essentially knock out the final boss, but you have to hit both. Like, you can't just do a jump attack and you can't just do a quick spin after missing the jump attack, even if you get the jump attack quick spin. You gotta get both. I'm not sure if I'm gonna try to skip KB1, because I can, 
And it saves a lot of time if you skip it, but... It also takes a little bit of time to set up. So, I don't know. Is this like... I don't know. A minute 45 to do the entire... Minute 30 if you're good, probably. Maybe a little bit faster if you're good. Um, to do the entirety of King Bulbin 1. And it takes like 30 seconds to try to skip him. There's a random orange ruby that I can get by throwing a boomerang behind Russell's house. So I'm going to do that because I need rupees for bombs. <laughs> so yeah, if I just throw the boomerang in a corner here, I get 100 rupees. It's so weird. I don't know why that's there, but it is. Alright, so hopefully I get good sumo RNG, but we'll see. Sumo is basically rock, paper, scissors. And you have to guess, but there are certain, like, techniques that make it so there's higher consistency and you have to win a fewer number of times. And the basics are not the same as goat uh, wrangling. He lies here. So basically, I want to slap him as soon as possible. Um... And then, based on that, I can figure out what he's going to try to do afterwards. Kind of. If you get a slap into a, uh, a grab, which is what you hope for, then you can get him off the stage in one go. Otherwise, you just gotta hope. But normally, if he slaps you and you slapped him, then you can just, uh, mash A and it'll work out. So that was kind of mediocre RNG. I'm gonna lose a little bit of time here. I think that difference between like mediocre and really good RNG is like 15 seconds. So, eh. It's fine. Okay. I don't know if I should go for Karkar or for the KB1 skip because I'm not good at it yet. I need to like practice it and get it consistent before I want to mess around with it. Because also I need to get good at a, a specific LJA that I need to skip it again whenever I'm doing Zora Escort. Otherwise, I don't know if it's going to make me do the Zora Escort again if I mess it up, and that would be very bad. I don't know if it, it would... It might even softlock at that point. I don't know. I do not know. But basically, you can use one of those birds, basically, and finishing blow over the gate, and then roll around the trigger that's on the ground. Normally, you have to take a Kona in there, which is what they intend. So you land on the trigger. It doesn't really matter. Anyways. And you only get one attempt at it as well. Otherwise, the bird doesn't have enough health to do it again. I mean, you could... Theoretically, bring a bird over from like a different spot, but it's just not going to be worth it in terms of time if you do that. Because there's like one bird that's fast to get, and the rest of them are just bad.
like all of these, if you had to bring one of these over, it would be slow. And then there's one that you can probably see right now that we normally get. I need to actually go over the gate. Yeah, okay. Alright. So now I'm just... It saves like 30 seconds to not even go for it. Um, so anyways... Optimally, you don't do this in a run, but you have to get, like, you have to be good at that trick. Okay. Um, this fight is kind of annoying. You basically want to hit him a bunch of times in a row so that you can knock his armor off. And you want to do that really fast. So that was really good just now. Normally it takes me like an extra 30 or 40 seconds. Okay. Whenever he gets close to you, you want to basically um, dash to the right side of him. And then basically just release a spin attack. And if you do that twice, then he dies. Um, if you get hit off in this version of the bridge fight with him, then you uh, still retain the damage you did to him. But if you like do that in um, KB2, if you get knocked off, you have to reset all of the damage. Okay. So I'm going to do that trick again, and hopefully I don't mess it up too many times. Um, there was a run earlier today where I messed it up like five times in a row, so I'm like, nope, I'm not con I'm not continuing. But, uh, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and equip the iron boots, because I'll need them eventually, but now's a good time to equip them. Okay, I messed it up. Um, okay, so I basically gotta guess when he's going to get here, and then hope. So it ended up working that time, but generally if you mess it up, then uh, you're screwed. <sighs> so I kind of saved that. Uh, basically what I would have done if I had gotten the trick is I would have um, just held on to the ledge, basically, until he went over the ledge. If you go too early, then it messes you up. Do not go too early, basically. Okay. And that's kind of what you want to do. You want to either hit the wall and dodge him, like all these Gorons, or basically hit the wall and the Goron hits you directly into the wall and it doesn't matter. Um, getting hit back wastes time. But anyways. If you try to climb up too early, whenever you did that trick that I was trying to do, um, then basically the Goron will keep chasing after you from below the ledge, and you can like potentially soft lock. But the last time I got that, uh, it just ended up working out. Ow. Nice meteor. Can I get the big, big meteor? There we go. But yeah, I, if I went into like a specific corner or jumped, I think if I jumped off, it counted as getting hit. But if you're too far up, then um, you can't jump off. Because like you can only move like uh, they intend you to, which is not full range of motion. Okay, so I basically just want to ride these Gorons up. You let them hit your shield. And then hit them with a boomerang or a sword, and it works. Um, normally you skip this with the iron boots, but if you have a shield, you can just side hop through it, as long as you're facing the wind. So that that's exactly what you want them to do. You want them to hit you into the wall like that. But anyways, you don't want to grab them, because grabbing them is like really, really slow. Okay. Okay, 
now here I'm gonna go this way and then grab the ledge and get some rubies. It allows me to skip this Goron right here. Okay. If I get my sword out and basically side hop with the iron boots, then I can immediately enter this cutscene without having to put on the iron boots in here. Um, if you enter into this cutscene without the iron boots, you have to basically deny wanting to sumo, put the iron boots on, and then re-talk to the dude. So you definitely want to have your iron boots on right now. Okay. There's a certain pattern this guy is supposed to do for this. Um, whether or not he'll actually do it is a whole nother question. So basically, what you want to do is you go left. Okay, sometimes it just doesn't work. But he likes to grab at you a lot. So basically, you want to dodge him for a bit. Bo likes to slap more. This guy doesn't really slap that often. So that was a pretty somewhat decent fight. I've had worse where I was like literally stuck on there for like two minutes and then got hit off. So thankfully that didn't happen. Okay, I don't need any hearts. I don't think. So I can just roll past these. There's boxes. There's hearts in those boxes right there. Like if you're ever low on hearts here. There's also a health refill in um, the mini boss room. Okay, so if you just walk into these, then you can just kind of roll right through it afterwards because you still have iframes. Okay, I'm gonna get hit by this guy. And then do this, because I think that LJ is a bit more consistent than uh, the one that most people do. You normally, like, target above this thing. But, uh, I don't know. I find it really inconsistent. Like, I'll just void randomly sometimes. Because you'll, like, jump into the lava if you mess it up. The other LJ is, like, super consistent. I just figured that out a while ago, and I'm like, I'm gonna use that, because it's my thing that nobody else uses. So, I do that. Unfortunately, I do have to get hit, and it takes a little bit extra time. Okay, if you don't equip your iron boots to fall faster there, you will not make that cycle. So, anyways... I want to side hop off here. Okay, if you do a jump spin, he just automatically dies. Okay, this is a little odd. I don't know if I'm going to get it, but... Um, basically... Come on, keep rolling faster, roll faster, roll faster, roll faster, roll faster. Okay, alright. Um, you can roll in between the wall there which saves time from having to go all the way around. It's like 10 seconds or something. I can't remember. Because normally you'd have to pull it all the way out, and that time you only have to pull it out four. And it's pretty consistent. You might be able to do it with only pulling it three times, but you'd have to be really good. And I am not that good. So... Okay, so we need a key shard in order to exit this room, and there's no way to avoid going through this room, so we get the key shard. It's totally not necessary, you only need the third key shard to get the boss key, because of how it's programmed. Like, you don't actually need all three shards, we're gonna skip the second shard, but um, I need it to get out of this room, which I have to go through. That jump is a little tricky, but it's a lot faster, obviously, than um, using iron boots and going around. Unfortunately, we cannot avoid going through this room wearing iron boots. There is, like, literally no way. The ledge up there is too high, and if you were going to try to LJA, it would just be impossible. Um, in the Wii version of the game, you can run around on the ceiling without wearing iron boots, but uh, it's impossible in GameCube and HD. 
basically what you're supposed to do is uh, equip the iron boots and then quick select or like by pausing basically when you're halfway up and then just replace the iron boots with another item on your uh, item select or whatever. Sometimes that guy's not in the way, but this time he was obviously, so oh well. Anyway, so this room is like super resident sleeper, but anyways, there's nothing I can do to avoid it. Dropping there is a little sketch, because I never know if I'm gonna land on the thing or not. I just try to guesstimate. Because I don't want to stay on the ceiling too long, because it's really slow walking around on the ceiling. Yeah, if you skip that cutscene, you can just get onto this magnet, like, really fast. That guy's always going to attack you, so you can shield him to avoid taking damage. But he's not going to move you, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, thanks for the good luck, Mossy. I am definitely going to need it. I keep choking, like, later in the run. So. Alright. This is a pretty good time for the split. I, I should be able to best here by, like, most of a minute, but, uh, I'm not sure entirely. Because I didn't try to skip KB1 this time. I haven't actually gotten that successfully in a run. It would be faster than this, but... Oh, another thing? You want to wait until you're actually on the ceiling before you try to start, like holding a direction with the analog stick. Because um, if you... Uh, if you basically go too early, then Link, because of the analog glitch, will actually walk in the opposite direction you want him to. He does that a lot when climbing ledges and stuff. I can just LJA through here. I'm not exactly sure why that works, but it does, so, eh. Like, that doesn't follow any of the normal LJA rules, but it works. So, I'm not gonna complain. Alright, so this room and the rooms after it are slow, so why go through them when you can just LJA over to the door? You gotta wait until the boomerang is actually over the door though, otherwise it's not gonna work. Okay, so this is the mini boss. Mini boss is pretty easy, although well, like sometimes he can give me trouble. I could get a heart here, but I'm lame, so I'm not getting a heart. Hurts are for the week. So you want to go around behind him. So that you can basically throw him directly off the thing. You gotta be kind of careful with your quick spin because sometimes it doesn't work. I don't know why. Like, it won't actually hit him. But if you Z-target him, then it'll be pretty consistent. Okay, so this is a good split. I didn't really mess anything up, so that's nice. Got a good KV-1, and they're good pretty much everything. I didn't even bother trying to skip KV-1, so I'm gonna save a ton of time here. It's gonna be like two minutes off my sum of best, probably. Maybe a little bit less? I don't know. Probably a little bit less. Especially if I do that. 
if you slash and then roll, it's supposed to work. It doesn't always work, though. It's just supposed to work. Okay, so I'm just gonna miss knocking off two minutes off best. Just barely. So now I'm ridiculously far ahead. Which is cool. So, yay, fun. Really? Okay, there's a slug that always drops in your path. Just don't roll directly forward. You've gotta roll to that guy to activate all these other guys, but... Um, shoot this guy. If you stand to the left here, this guy can't hit you. And you can drag this out. He will hit you as soon as you let go, though. Or move to the left, I suppose. As soon as you move to the left. Okay. So, you're gonna see here, I haven't gotten the second key shard, but talking to this guy just gives me the rest of the boss key. Um, this chest has a 50 rupee, so I just grab it because it's fast rupees. I suppose optimally you don't want to have to get that rupee, but I just get it because consistency. Okay, don't go to the left. The left is slow. And there's a bunch of unnecessary rooms that I'm not even sure why they're there, because you can... You get the second shard on the way to the mini-boss. So, like... Why is it even there? I don't know. Like, why are those rooms there? I'm gonna go ahead and grab some hearts, just cuz. <laughs> this best split was pretty darn perfect, so hopefully I can replicate that. Um, this split is not too hard. Like, the entirety of Goron Mines is actually okay. There's a quick LJA there, you gotta be a little bit patient. Um, but that's there. Okay, if you don't kill these four guys right here, then they will trigger a cutscene. And then this guy is just in the way of what I'm gonna do, so I just get him out of the way. There is a slightly faster way of going through this room, but, uh, it is, like, way less consistent, so... So basically, I could just go this way, and then, like, jump attack up these ledges, run past these guys, and then, um, I LJA from here, over to there, and I just land on here, which is great, because I get to skip the magnet, and just go past this. Getting the magnet takes forever, because there's, like, multiple cutscenes, so I don't do that. This boss fight is not that difficult. It really isn't. It's a pretty easy boss. I shouldn't say that because I'm gonna choke. Like so. Okay, so you just grab one of these. And I'm just gonna stand right in front of him so that I can hit him with an arrow immediately. I mean, you could go behind him, but then you have to wait for him to turn around. It's much harder to hit him. It's like really easy if you just hit him as soon as the thing starts glowing. Uh, I need to grab this though. Okay, he kind of walked the wrong way there. Anyways, what's up, Rage Party? I got a pretty good run going here. So if I do a quick spin, it's really fast. I'm probably not going to save time off of best here, but 
Yeah, whatever. Uh, no. Okay, there we go. I don't know how this is magnetic. This is definitely not a magnetic surface. But it works. So we take those. Okay. Just stab him in the face. Get, get face stabbed. Virus, get face stabbed. That's right. Wallow in pain because you got face stabbed. Alright. I should save, like, another 40 seconds here. I probably won't best, but... Anyways, yeah, so... Again, this category can be, like, way better than it is. Like, I can already be probably a minute further ahead than I am right now. At least. Maybe more. Um, so... Pretty good. And if we figured out a consistent way to skip KB1... Like a really consistent way, not the stupid Karkarok way, then I would go for that more often. And then, um, we could save like another minute or so. Maybe not quite a minute, but something like that. As it is, I might as well just fight KB1, because I'm not gonna get the skip very often, so on average, I'm gonna lose time instead of saving time. I mean, like, maybe if you're really trying to push the category to its limits, then sure, but I'm fine taking, like, a minute loss off of that for now. So. Oh, uh, I forgot to split. That was a best split. <laughs> and I didn't split. Amazing. Whatever. I'll just leave that as a split. <laughs> this is pretty much what it was. What am I doing? I need to grab.